Welcome back. We are here today with more ZX4RR fun stuff. Um, you know, we've done a lot of cool stuff with the oil cooler and uh, gosh, variety of things, big brakes, uh, new pads, and on and on and on. Today, what we're going to talk about is uh, data logging, the AIM Solo 2 DL. I uh, bought this from Graves Motorsports. And uh, it's a great lap timer, you know, if for, for, you know, weekend warriors and track day junkies. That's uh, kind of one of the, the gold standard when it comes to uh, really good lap timers. And, uh, you know, it, it gives you what you need for predictive lap times as well as current lap times and storing everything. But we went a little bit further. And you can see on uh, the front fork, there is a linear potentiometer here. And what that does, it is, is um, logging the suspension position. On the front, and uh, check this out, the, the tubo shock from Graves has another linear potential meter. Took a little bit of modification on the tray there to put the other end in place, but it all bolts to the shock. And um, then it's keeping track of your uh, rear shock and front fork position at all times on the track. That's not all. Let's see here, we got some Graves brake lines that have a junction block that allow you to put a um, pressure sensor right into the uh, hose there. So it'll keep track of your front brake pressure. And we got another one on the rear here. Rear brake just integrates by tapping in with a banjo there. And then this AIM Solo 2, in addition to, uh, you know, hooking up, to the, uh, if you look deep in there, there's a little accessory to analog to digital CAN bus converter that takes all these sensors and makes them digital for this thing to digest them. The Solo 2 also plugs into the ECU and it gets throttle position, it gets uh, engine coolant temperature, a variety of things, all out of the bike. So what does that mean? Let's take a look. You just, it wakes when you start the bike, and then you see it's configuring the uh, analog to digital converter, the CAN bus converter, and then here you go. It's already there. Now let's go ahead. So you see you got lap times. You've got your predictive lap time, which means it's, it's looking at your best lap of the session, and it'll light up LEDs here to tell you if you are you know, behind your best lap or ahead of your best lap. I believe each LED is a tenth of a second and they go from like orange, red, and green. Um, then you've got uh, RPM, engine coolant temperature. <clears throat> then this is the fun one. Look at this. This is the suspension position. Watch, I'll pull up the front brakes, I mean the front forks, and you'll see, see it says now 19 millimeters. 37, let's go to the back shock. 4.8 millimeters right now. I push down, it goes six, I lift up. And then check this out, I'll pull the brake and the front brake pressure goes up to like 18 bar, 20 bar. And then same thing with the rear brake. I'll push the rear brake and you can watch that actuate too. So there's that. Let's see what else we got. Oh, look, throttle position. So as I increase throttle position, it's keeping track of the throttle position. And then it's also got intake air temperature and that's our altitude on the bottom right, right there in meters. And of course it knows what gear you're in because of the ECU. And right back to lap times. Now that's just what it displays on this screen. If you, um, I had to buy a Windows laptop for this. That was the hardest part, oh my gosh very difficult um, to deal with a uh, 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 Windows laptop after all this time. But you can see that the, uh, you know, AIM software Race Studio 3 has uh, a bunch of settings, a bunch of uh, other things that you can download, you can compare it on track, um, you know, you can control how it uh, how it does the predictive uh, lap times. Um, anyway, this software is really powerful. Let's see here. Live measures, you know, you can see them right here on the, on the uh, um, 
uh, laptop as well. Um, and then, you know, you've got some settings which let you, let me see here, predictive reference lap, where is it? I don't even remember. There's so much to figure out on this laptop, but essentially at the end of the day, it's going to really help me um, figure out if my perceptions on track match reality. That's really the goal here. And, you know, I've been getting a lot of coaching to try and uh, learn how to be more aware of my riding. And now I'm going to have data that is going to come from the bike in order to let me know if uh, what I think happened uh, matches what really did happen. So anyway, this was a very expensive upgrade, obviously. These sensors and uh, this uh, data logger, along with all the components you need to put it together, um, are not cheap. But uh, this is a fun hobby for me, and I want to kind of approach it scientifically. And, um, you know, there's no better way than to do it with the package that Graves already put together. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we'll go out on track and uh, we'll give you another review of all these fancy bits once uh, we try them out on track. Thanks for watching and uh, everyone take care until next time.